What's going on, everybody? It's Nice Pants Lance. I am here with our favorite saleswoman, Corey, from Rock On Power Sports. Make sure to call on down to Rock On Power Sports. Come buy a bike from Corey. Do it. I have Do nice it. pants, too. She's got nice pants, but I got the nicest pants. I am Lance, after all. You guys might remember her from my uh, Harley Davidson Pan America video and also a Harley Davidson demo event that they did here at Rock On Power Sports. Um, so if you haven't seen those videos, come check them out. <laughs> what, you got a YouTube? Yeah, you yeah. What's, what's your YouTube? All right, it's uh, Scooterhead. Scooterhead? Yeah, I started on a scooter. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scooterhead 79. Uh, yeah, YouTube. So, Scooterhead 79. What's yours? I'm, going to, I'm Nice Pants Lance. Nice Pants Lance. I'm gonna find nice you. Nice Pants man. Lance. I'll All find right. you too. All right, cool. All right, Scooterhead. Yeah. Right on, man. Cool. Well, we got some good people out here. We got some hot dogs and energy drinks. Kawasaki's getting us all juiced up for the demos. Got a whole bunch of sick bikes over here. But I can only ride one of them. So today I am gonna ride the Kawasaki Ninja 1000 SX. said before today I'm riding the Ninja 1000 SX it was actually one of the highest in demand motorcycles it's got a quick shifter so yeah so all you need to do actually use it normal when you get out of here yep. when you get a little more comfortable on the bike all you do is just hold the throttle solid no kidding no question hold the solid throttle if you decide to downshift Flip the throttle off for a second, downshift and pull your back. Oh, oh, so it does do up and down, just no throttle uh, ups? No, no, yeah, you got to back off for downshifting. Okay. Just, just hold it down the other way. All right. Thanks for the info. Cool. Let's fire it up. Wow, okay. So this is supposed to be basically just a kind of a more commuter-friendly Ninja 1000. You just like push down on this little slide to start it. Looks like it's got a TFT display. Won't have much time to give you guys any details on it. This is a guided demo ride. So there's just gonna be more riding, less less talking. Um, this does have like clip-on bars. It looks like the suspension is adjustable in the front. I'm sure it is for the rear as well. actually pretty comfortable I mean these these are clip-ons but they're not uncomfortable they don't tilt back too far they're fairly straight clutch feels light no it's got dual dual brakes with uh, with ABS so this thing is I'm guessing just a fully loaded version of the Ninja 1000 I'm excited about this this is like my first leader bike I don't know if it's really a leader bike because uh, this isn't the Ninja 1000, this is the SX. I do believe it comes with bags and a few other things. This model does have a quick shifter on it, which seems to be like my new All thing. Let's just put this into right, good. Good. sport mode. So my upper body is pretty relaxed, but uh, my feet, oh my god, the controls are so high up underneath me. We're just going to put that 
put that visor down now. All right. All right. Well, so this this four cylinder is extremely smooth. I can't say it's as smooth as the uh, two Honda six cylinders that I rode, but this is definitely about as smooth as one can get on a bike. Yeah, this thing has a surge of power. Holy smokes. I think it makes like 140 horses and like a, like maybe like 80 foot-pounds of torque. Not sure if I'm right up there, but okay. This is very smooth. The amount of information it gives you on the display is pretty wild, too actually gives you like lean angle uh, readouts the clutch is extremely light you could actually use one finger you can use one finger to pull this the quick shifter is so handy I don't have a quick shifter on my own bike but Boy, is it something I would like to have in the future. I've ridden a few other bikes with quick shifters, naming the uh, Triumphs. And I will say I do like the Triumph quick shifter a little more. This thing has a ton of power. A ton of power. Even at 4,000 RPM, this bike has a ton of power. I thought it was going to be gutless down low. My feet are tucked up underneath me, and boy, are these underneath me. It actually, uh, uh, how do I say it? These are mid controls, but because they're so high up, it actually has the angle of my leg more forward than not. So it feels like my thighs are actually more forward than on my own bike, the Triumph Speed Twin, but the actual foot position is much higher up and more tucked underneath me so in a way it is comfortable but you're still tucked up underneath you it's it's sporty but um but they're not rear set so you don't feel like you're forced into this position it's definitely a little more comfy being a sport bike i do feel like i am kind of um riding right on top of this bike which isn't a bad thing it makes it feel like you got a lot of control the intake howl is pretty pretty nice on this bike this definitely has some very pleasing intake whine Although, uh, I don't know if I'm sold on the sound. This four-cylinder motor isn't really inspiring me too much. Although it is definitely powerful, I would not be surprised if this bike would wheelie in third gear right now. I bet you if I ripped it, I bet you it could do some nasty, nasty stunts, but... definitely has this surging power delivery from the mid-range into the high 
it doesn't have that rip your arms off kind of throttle response that I'm used to in a twin. But it's still got some nice power. It makes for a very comfortable ride because um, you don't have to spend too much time modulating the throttle. You can you can give this good handfuls of throttle without you know worrying about jerking around. I mean, I feel like I'm gripping the tank with my knees. Um, I'm not sure how this windshield adjusts. I don't know if it's electronic or manual, but um, it's not really helping with the wind too much. It kind of takes the wind off of my chest, but it's pitching it right into my helmet. So, can't say I'm the biggest fan of that. Although guys that get on a bike like this, they're not looking for a touring machine, you know. They're, they're looking for something that's a little more sport oriented. Just because this is an SX, it's, it's still kind of a Ninja 1000, you know. Let's see if I can do like a short pull, like... Yeah, this bike will do 60 miles an hour in first gear. It's definitely got performance. And the braking is really nice too, although... I did get quite a bit of brake dive there. Very nice. Oh my goodness, that pulls. Yeah, once you get it above 5,000 RPM to about like 6,000 RPM, this definitely just wants to, wants to pick right up. Excuse me. Very nice. Yeah, this has definitely got some pull. at like 42,000 RPM, I'm at 40 miles an hour, and I just rip it, and boom, 60, just like that, just like that, yeah, everything's uh, pretty much as expected with this bike, super smooth power delivery, uh, very, very powerful surging top end. Um, the quick shifter performs great. I haven't been using the clutch this whole time. It's definitely not the smoothest quick shifter, but hey, it works as intended. Definitely very impressed with the handling. I mean, it's, I don't know how much this bike weighs. It's got to weigh probably around 500 pounds, but it feels pretty light. Um, I'm six feet tall with the 32 inch inseam and I can just flat foot just flat foot on this bike so it's not too tall <laughs> yeah i really like this bike it's i would have no problem going on a day trip with this bike put some bags on it Actually, I think bags might come on this bike. But all in all, this is this is definitely the bike for somebody that's ready to retire from the sport bike life. And, uh, you know, someone that wants to do a little more relaxing riding, but maybe someone that's not ready to give up the inline four. Definitely see what the rage is about, though. Everyone seems to like these four-cylinders, and I can definitely see why. They're super smooth. They're not very taxing. Um, 
Um, throttle management is a little easier. It's definitely a very rapid bike. Whoever's riding the uh, Kawasaki Versus is not riding very rapidly, but you know, that's okay. I wish I could pass this guy, but I'd probably get kicked out. <laughs> I like the intake noise on, on this bike. It's, it almost sounds like a turbo the way it whines. But I'm not really sold on the sound. Um, this definitely just sounds like a like a four-cylinder crotch rocket. I don't know. It's it's got this um, this very appliance-like sound to it. So maybe with an exhaust pipe it would sound a little better. Yeah, that is all I got for you today. I won't be doing a zero to 60, obviously, but um, yeah, that's really all I can give you with the time that I had. I do like this bike and I, I hope to ride more four cylinders and uh, maybe hopefully ride my first leader bike soon. Um, but yeah, if you'd like that and you wanna see more, please give this video a like. Um, Please subscribe to my channel, too, if you want to see more just like this. That's all I got for you. Mm, peace. Now, how do I turn this thing off? Oh, man, this is nice. Yeah, this is this is really nice. It's buttoned up. Very nice. I like the power delivery. I like how smooth it is. Quick shifter works good. Got a lot of information. I wish I had enough time to. Yeah, uh, that's the thing is, it's got so many different options. Did they have it in sport ride? Yeah. Yep. Had it in sport. You think I could give this a little little uh, rev without getting uh, anybody upset? <laughs> nice. That's nice. That is nice. Yeah, that sounds great. That sounds great. I love the TFT. And the fact that I can still read it, even when it's this that's, bright out. That's the big accomplishment with this stuff, Chris. That's up, to, up until they came out with this stuff. Yeah. Out there was, you're going like, that's great if it's a dark day. <laughs> the sun's flying on, shining on it, you're not seeing anything. So this one, yeah. You can change the, you can change the screen from white background to black background. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all in all, I, I love the spike.